most exciting visit to Buffalo. Everybody's happy to hear that Solar City is investing $5 billion in the city and creating thousands of jobs. And it's raising a big question for homeowners here in western New York. What is solar power and how much would it cost the average person to install it at home? Al Vauders went looking for answers today. Al? Well, Jackie, we're finding there are two markets for solar panels, residential and commercial. We're finding because of the initial cost to install a solar power system, the commercial market is way out front, but the residential seems to be slowly catching up. Crew from Allegro Power is installing solar panels on the roof of Uncle Bob's self-storage in Chictawaga. Once the full array of solar panels is in place, they'll generate about 75% of the power needed to run the facility, bringing down the electric bill. This past year has been the most growth that we've seen as a company, uh, but also as an industry as a whole. Will the investment in the solar panels ever pay off? Solar Liberty Vice President Nathan Rizzo says it'll take about three to five years for the solar electric to pay for itself. So you're hedging against future rate increases, uh, and it, it's giving you the power uh, to really take control of your overall electric usage. Uncle Bob's is installing solar panels at 15 of its New York properties and 30 in other states. The incentives do play a role at this point in time as far as the installation, but the savings that we're seeing at the, at the, uh, at the back side of it have been tremendous. Residential solar electric systems on average cost about $20,000, but home builder Dave Stapleton told us in western New York, state and federal subsidies cover about half the cost. Right now it's about the consumer making a choice. Do you spend a little bit more on granite countertops or something else as a finish in your home, or do you spend it on something that's really going to pay for itself in the long run? The solar package includes a new electric meter that registers credits for the homeowner when the panels produce more power than is needed and deducts credits when usage exceeds the electricity being produced. We're already getting people asking about them, so we're getting some renewed interest already and customers asking, hey, how do we go about getting solar panels on our home and what's it cost and what's the benefit? So David Stapleson says the solar electric systems do add value to the home. So when weighing the cost of installing solar panels, you have to include the savings on your utility bill and the value it adds to your property. Al Waters, News 4 at 530.